And this is Stale Cock for Four by Ted LaRusso, characters Bonnie and Gary, and Julie and Jim. Set, two chairs, hint at a smart living room. Time, night. Bonnie and Gary enter and approach the front door. They are dressed for a party. Bonnie's skirt, blouse, shawl, open, compact in hand, fusses with her appearance. Gary's shirt, slacks, jacket, rehearses under his breath. How do I look? You need to trim your hibiscus. No, over here. How do I look? You need to trim your hibiscus. Oh, okay. Shh, shh, you need to okay, trim. Enough, enough, enough. You got it. You got it. You own it. You're ready. Now, now remember the enemy. Your hibiscus. No, no, the martinis. Two sips only. Fortification. Keep the conversation airy. I casually bring up botany, and then you say. You need to trim your hibiscus. We cut it with a couple of timid chuckles, insist on more cocktails, and and touched. By our timidness, they get so tanked, they trim their hibiscus in their underwear as we skip home and celebrate our regained patio like porn stars. <laughs> How do I look? You need to trim your hibiscus. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, my darling. Say it just like that. Okay. Ding dong, door flies open. Julie and Jim appear at the door, red faced and seething. Their shirts are unbuttoned <laughs> to their waist, their slacks are undone and slung around their ankles. They hold a decanter of martinis and glasses. Bonnie, Bonnie and, Gary. and Gary. Jim? Julie. So nice of you to, in, to invite us. Jim and Julie urgently rush Gary and Bonnie into their living room. Yeah, good riddance. Good fucking night. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. In other words. In other, in other what? I, I agree. I, I'm, I beg your pardon? We feel it would be best if you left. But, but we just got here. Yeah, that being said, we don't care. Whatever you think of us, you must know that. This transcends humiliation. Oh no, oh no. is this is this the wrong day? Certainly you realize. It, it's cold out there. You'll be needing this. Julie spins Gary, grabs his overcoat by the shoulder and wrenches it off his shoulder. Well, yes, there's a little nip. Jim whips Bonnie's shawls from her shoulders. Here's your wrap. Well, actually, I was going to keep that. We thought it was understood. Okay, okay, take it. Did, Did you, you not read my invitation? The, the invitation said cocktails at seven. It's only 7.03. Uh, uh, I'm so embarrassed. I mean, we enjoy a good time. It's just... We're not pigs, you know. Oh my God. Oh my God, they heard us. We, we know we may have mentioned a few things outside, but we never used the word pig, did we? Jim pours and hands a martini to Gary. And I'll take that. Uh, thank you. Jim, Jim, Julie pours and hands a martini to Bonnie. I'll take that. Uh, oh, look, honey, the enemy. Bonnie and Gary clink glasses. Are you finished? Uh, give us a sec. We had no idea you would be so offended. No, 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 it's, del it's delicious. What's in it? Something to give life a little lift. We're, 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 li we're, we're lifting. <laughs> Listen, all we, all we wanted was a little fun. We didn't want this. Please know that. We've come to a decision. As painful as it is. Stand up. Bonnie and Gary don't know what to do, so they sit. We have something to say. Julie and Jim exchange a knowing glance and shuffle into the kitchen. Slight pause. What, what the fuck? We have the wrong day. You read the invitation wrong. Your dyslexia has overtaken our marriage. I read it right. Then what the? <sighs> Remember last December, the holiday party, wherein they forced the entire neighborhood to come dressed as our favorite Hanukkah oh. character? Do you remember? Yeah, how, how could I forget 40 drunk Irish Catholics dressed as dreidels? Oh, how that room spun. This. This, my husband, is them spinning another one of their goddamn theme parties. But what's the theme? Well, where's the invitation? I'll be on the invitation. No, I, I, I have it. I put it, wait, it's here. I, I, I put it, I have it somewhere. I have, I put it somewhere. I know. You, okay, you have so, way too many somewhere. Look, this, to survive a marriage, a man needs hiding places. I, I can't find it. I must have tossed it. Okay. Okay, concentrate. What exactly did the invitation say? Uh, okay, cl close your eyes, close your eyes, see, see the invitation. Okay, there it is, there it is, mm -hmm. I see it. It's a card, on the cover is a watercolor of a swing hanging from the limb of a big, fat, gnarly tree. Uh, scampering about the swing are pastel rabbits, four of them. 
four really cute rabbits. Oh, look, they're leaping. Inside, what's inside? Oh, oh, inside it says, please join us this Thursday at seven o'clock for cocktails to enjoy, to enjoy. To enjoy what? To enjoy our new backyard swing set, XXOO, your neighbors, Jim and Julie. We were invited over here to enjoy their backyard swing set? Their new backyard swing set. Well, they don't have any kids. They're in their 40s. Who's the backyard swing set for? The rabbit. Just, okay, be quiet. Let me think. Okay, okay. Backyard swing set party. Backyard, backyard. Oh. Oh. Backyard. Of course. Exactly. <laughs> what? Oh, wow. They are so crafty. Yeah. Backyard. They're letting us know that they know what's going on. They know that we're here to ask them to trim their hibiscus. This theme party is just a way of throwing us off track. No, we're not backing down. We're not backing down. Our patio is relying on us. We will figure out their theme and we will play it against them. We can do this. We're smart. Yes, I am. Look, shit. Here they come. Jim and Julie enter mixing martinis. <laughs> Well, first one to figure out the theme, raise your hand. Hey. There you are. We were just saying. We uh, have something we must discuss. Well, as a matter of fact. Yeah, 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 so do we. We'll be right back. Where are you going? Please excuse us. Jim and Julie stand perfectly still and stare at Gary and Bonnie. I, I thought you were leaving to, to discuss you washed out your mouth with the martini. I feel violated. They don't like us. Oh my. Who said, who said? We don't like you, who said that? We, we like you a lot. It, it's your hibiscus we're not crazy about. Yeah, that's why we came over to discuss your hibiscus in, an, in a neighborly manner. Jim and... walks over and plants a sensuous kiss on Bonnie. Julie walks over and plants a wild kiss on Gary. <laughs> Bonnie and Gary simultaneously raise a hand. Jim and Julie break off. Whoa. Howdy neighbor. Darling, I think we should show our friends the reason we invited them over tonight. No, no, yeah, it's, no, uh, uh, we got it. Nope. <clears throat> we got Let's it. get got comfortable. Uh, goodness, it's, it's warm in here. <laughs> Let me pull up their slacks and button their shirts. Oh my God, your dyslexia has done it again. This isn't a backyard swing set party. It's a backward swingers party. We're being seduced in reverse. Indeed. It's the bewitching hour. Bottoms up. Jim pours martinis. I have an idea. Let's have another drink, okay? Jim approaches Bonnie and deftly undoes her skirt. It falls to the floor. She's wearing panties, stockings, and a garter belt. Ah, <gasps> look at this mess. Oh, now see here. Clothes do get in the way. Did Jim mention that we hate clothes? Mm. Well, he didn't have to. What he did to my skirt? With one tug, Julie expertly unbuckles Jim's trousers. They fall to his ankles. Oh, we'll have to do something about those trousers. I, I seriously protest what's going on. What is going on? Oh, look, you're dripping. I insist, remove your skirt. Dear Lord, what have we done? <laughs> Aren't we the klutzes? Oops. <laughs> Jim and Julie toss their martinis onto Bonnie and Gary's laps. <laughs> I insist that you go outside and trim your fucking hibiscus now. Give me your hanky, give me your hanky, give me your hanky. This back is burning. Gary my... quickly takes oh. a hanky from his pocket and applies it to Bonnie's crotch. Uh, perhaps we're being too subtle. Uh, variety is the spice that flavors the suburbs. <laughs> we are at a cocktail party. Get your hand off my crotch. I can't, it's stuck. Speaking of variety. We have a meat tray mm. with a variety of meats. Mm. Get your hand off my crotch. Are you hungry? Well said, my darling. Are you? <laughs> my hand, it's stuck to your hibiscus. Drinks? Anyone? Booze has a way of lubricating an evening? <laughs> no. No, he doesn't want another lethal martini. Oh, he most certainly does. I've seen him mow the lawn. I wish I could mow the lawn. Gary. <laughs> Gary, have you lost weight? Yeah, you wear it well. Do you work out? <laughs> Please, my hand is stuck to my wife's crotch. Either do something or shut up. Jim and Julie, take the martini glasses from Bonnie and Gary. Yes, let's all have a drink. You like martinis? Jim and Julie gather Gary's jacket and Bonnie's shawl. Allow me. Jim throws Bonnie's shawl over her head. 
Here, I'll take your coat. Julie throws Gary's jacket over his head. To Bonnie and Gary. Julie? Jim? Honey, look who's here. Oh, we're so glad you could make it. Come in. Jim and Julie usher Bonnie and Gary out the door. Bonnie, Bonnie and, Gary. and Gary. Jim and Julie slam the door, leaving Bonnie and Gary on the stoop, their coat over their heads, she without a skirt, his trousers around his ankles, his hands still stuck to her crotch. What happened? You really need to trim your hibiscus. The end.